Here we are, another update. What's going on in the real estate world here today? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. The market is, I don't know. Here's what I wrote down, Kitty. Just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean I'm wrong. Yep. All right. Because here's the thing. That pretty much describes our real estate market right now. Um, looking at sales prices, everything looks great, right? We were just talking about this. I pulled the median sales prices for homes in Destin, Miramar Beach, mm -hmm. this year versus last year. Mm -hmm. All right. Median sale price in Destin, Miramar Beach, up 42.9%. 42. That's a big up. Year over year, year right? Year over year. Mm -hmm. That's huge. I looked at the same numbers for 38, up 33.8%. Mm -hmm. Massive. Okay. Panama City, 45.2% up. 45. That's more than Destin, That's right? That's more than Destin. Wow. It's... um. Prices are jumping up dramatically, which is great. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that looks great. What about condos? What about condos? All right, here's what's going on in condos. Destin, Fort Walton Beach this time, Oak Island, right? Okay. In Miramar Beach. Prices up 41% year over year. 41. Golly, right? <laughs> 38, 27.5 in Panama City Beach. Condos are up 32.7% year over year. Yeah. Those are great numbers. Happy dance. Awesome for sellers. Awesome for realtors selling these yeah. prices, right? Makes you think you should have bought two or three of them, right? Uh, yeah, right, right. But here's the bad news. All right, there's a but. Okay. I hate buts. Okay. And I don't know if I'm chicken <laughs> little um, or there's real threats out there. We'll, we'll have to let folks decide. But here, here's what we're watching. The prices of homes and condos at the beach through the roof. We just talked mm -hmm. about it, right? Through mm -hmm. the roof. Inflation. The prices of everything, as you know, are up. Consumer price index is up 8.5%, which is the largest 12-month advance mm -hmm. since December of 1981. 81? It costs, it co yeah, in a long wow. time, right? It costs a lot of money to do anything these days. To live, yeah. I went to um, that place, the soft serve ice cream place. I got a junior oh. concrete... Yeah. Uh, Butterfinger. You didn't thing. even get the small. You got the junior. I got the tiniest <laughs> one you can get. Yeah. While still being satisfied. <laughs> um, but it was like 10 bucks. It's crazy. I still ate it. Yeah. It I was good. It. It, was it was good. good. <laughs> but it was 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Okay. So the cost of everything is through the roof. Gas, food, everything. Yeah. Right. Price of money. Yep. Crazy high. Cost to uh, finance a purchase of a second home investment condo at the beach is climbing. Greg McBride, all right, this guy, is, he's the chief financial analyst for Bankrate. He says with inflation still accelerating and the Federal Reserve on the cusp of uh, starting to run off their bond portfolio, all signs point to higher rates. Mm -hmm. And then he went on to say, in May, the benchmark 30-year fixed mortgage rate will be between 5.5% and 5.75% for the first time since 2009. Wow. They're higher. Yep. So the cost of money's up, the cost of everything's up, the cost of properties are up. That's a problem with affordability. And even though folks can afford to buy it. Mm -hmm. Do they want to? Will they? Yeah. At some point you tap out and say, I'm not going to buy that yeah. concrete Butterfinger thing. It's just yeah. too darn much. Yeah. I'll pass. I'll pay 10 bucks, but 11? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. So that's going to start to come into play. The other thing we're watching is social media. What are people saying on social media Right. And here's what we're seeing. Realtors. Right. We watch this. Realtors mm -hmm. getting on there complaining. Oh, my word. I listed their property. Nobody's what's wrong? Looking. What, what's wrong? What, I've what, had one showing. What's with my property? Yeah. Right. Why well, don't I have 15 overpriced asking? Or I, I got the question recently. What's wrong with it? It's been on the market for three days. Three days. Right. <laughs> Well, yeah. which is a thing. Which it, I, I mean, mean, it really was. It okay. cracked me up. Causing like, people worry. What's wrong with it? It's been on the market for three days. Mortgage lender writing on there. You know what? Give us mortgage people a break. They're not doing refis anymore. Mm -hmm. The number we just said, the number of sales are down, down, which means people aren't borrowing money, which means all those mortgage lenders that got hired. Yeah. What are they going to do? They're going to be looking for a new job. Yeah. They're going to be staying selling, around looking at each other, right? They're going to be selling concretes over at the yeah. uh, ice cream place. Um, it's sad. It's rough. I mean, that's what we're seeing, right? And even on our our team, we're, we're hearing more and more talk about, oh, my. Yep. I have to talk to 50 people to get somebody to sell. And even then, the, it, it's questionable. Mm -hmm. So what happens is these trends are causing an affordability issue 
And when it goes down and people can't afford or won't afford it, that's a problem for sellers. Yeah. It's a problem for sellers. And another problem that's lurking under the surface is perception. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is if these buyers start to perceive that if they wait a day, a week, a month, they'll get a better price. Yeah. They're going to wait. And when they wait, that puts incredible pressure on the seller that's barely hanging on. And it's a seller's market right now. Right now. So it could be shifting. But what buyer. happens is the seller that's barely holding on, he needs every night of rental income to keep mm -hmm. going. And when the rents get soft, and we're seeing some softening of rents, if that goes down and they have to sell, they're going to lower the price to sell, right? Yeah. And like we've talked about before, sometimes the numbers don't make sense. When the property gets... From an investment standpoint. Yeah, it doesn't, you know, it's it's, it's selling for 600000 but it's only bringing in 20000 and that's renting all season long. Sometimes it just, uh, there's a point where the numbers don't make sense anymore for the investor. And that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. For sellers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the result will be tremendous pressure on sellers trying to hold their price. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, one will break. Every time we see it, every time in downturn. And they break from the pack and they drop their price and it's game on, race to the yep. bottom. How low will you go? Okay, so if you're a seller out there and you're trying to get a high price and you don't want to hang on long term, sell now. Mm -hmm. Today, right? yeah. Sell today. Let's see what happens. Is there a race to bottom? I don't know. Is there? Is there? Well, let's take a look. Let's look at year over year results. Destin home sales mm -hmm. number of. We're down thirty six point two percent year over year. So yeah. one third of all homes that sold last year aren't selling this year. 38, 41.9%. All you know, more. we're closing in on half yeah. the sales from last year. Panama City down 22.8%. Condos down in Destin, 28.8%. 30A, 25%. Panama City, 44. Almost 44. half as many condos yeah. are selling this year than last year. That's showing up. Mm -hmm. So if you're a seller, if you're a seller, what do you do? Well, the honest answer is depends on your financial goals. All right, how do they match up to the current conditions? Mm -hmm. And like we always say, if you're in it for the long haul, yeah, what does it matter? Hang on. Yep. Right. Watch the prices go down. Watch them flatten. Watch them come out. But five but, years or less. All right. Yeah, that's a long haul. Five years or longer is the long haul. Right. Yep. Longer the better. Five years or less, you're a short time player. If you're a short time player, mitigate your risk. Sell today while the prices are high. Absolutely. Right. Well, mm -hmm. you can before. The, the prices start to break and come down, mm -hmm. okay? Otherwise, you got to ride that bad boy all the way down. Yep. It's got to bounce around on the bottom for a little while. Prices bounce around the bottom until they get a grip and start coming back up. And they got to come all the way back up to where they are today, but they got to come up farther than they are today for you to break even because you're carrying costs of all that time down and back up. Could be months, could be years. years. Mm -hmm. That's right? what I was just thinking. The last yeah. downturn was 12, 14 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you're not in it for that long, be careful. Be careful. And what do you do? What do you do? You call us, our group over at, at the beach team, mm -hmm. and you ask them to run the numbers. You have a conversation with them about your financial goals, the current market conditions, and let them help you. Maybe they hang, they tell you to hang on. Maybe they tell you to sell, sell, We got sell. some great people over there. The market <laughs> is getting very soft. 